Okay, so you can hold that, give me another one, or, or just use the one if you like. Fold it up as many times as you like. Feels comfortable. And you're getting further and further away from the other magnet. Yeah. But you do want one magnet to be against your skin. Yeah, okay. So right. you're right here. So. You can get them anywhere. Um, on eBay, they're about oh, a couple of dollars each. Then you get five, then you get ten, hundred. Get a hundred and give people. And um, you can put in the bags maybe a little bit of marijuana. And uh, you're building a thought pattern as opposed to the black and the obvious. Ah, and you cut the zip lock off. You've got to write love on it. And what? Nope. Doesn't matter. No, You've got the idea, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a bunch of magnet support for the magnetic motor, which we're going to pick up. And uh, the uh, AC laser has all of the um, plans and uh, everything in three or four different experiments. Good okay. So that's what's symbolic on Easter Island. The ears, they are blinded and their ears were cut off. So the priest couldn't see the blood coming. They disobeyed the army. They're coming back. And he's got his missus with him and she ain't happy. Tell right? me about it. Absolutely. Mm, very squizzy. <laughs> very, very squizzy. So in there, there, you can pick them up anywhere. They're all over China. Make mm. millions of them. So the, I come in with the super motor that'll put out 500 horsepower and show them how to do it. Six pounds in and 60 pounds out. So I sell all the plans. So they've got to close that down. And how they do it is it has to be specially made. To make magnets have to be specially mm. shaped. And become a problem. It only worked by the ones made in China to my specification from that factory. And if they didn't buy them off me, we're open to make it quick. They went undercut. So therefore, it was flooding market, so they cut stop short. So I said, right, I'll come back with another one. This time you want to kind of stop it. And the everyday magnet they use everywhere, these 20 mil magnets by 3 mil. Billions of them, trillions of them, everywhere. And that's the answer. You make an earring out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And you have instant enlightenment. So, this is what we've been doing. Would you say? I'm recording, by the way. I know. Well, come and have a look. You look lovely in that light. No, no, no. <laughs> you do, I do. <laughs> you do, but you're sitting against the wall. It's all about the lighting, babe. Lighting, I will lighting. sit there and you can sit against the wall then. No, it's all right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Next time we do not <laughs> So I think that ends the ripping yarns of how the 888 statue. All right, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> See, now this, what, what did we do? We put a. Um... We can recharge it with a stick <laughs> through the head. <laughs> These so. are magnets. These are two very powerful magnets. I'm going to have to take them off soon because uh, the pressure of them is enormous, even though I have wrapped the one at the back inside that little plastic bag over and over. Um, however, there you, there you have it. New, well, it's not new fashion. They've been using... Um, you could say I'm bending her ear. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, babe. All on you now. Oh, dear. So... Um, 
we are fighting not only for the, your lives and the lives of the babies you're allowed to be killing, because of propaganda owned by a fucking Jewish newspaper. But unless you liberate the Holy Land, without Kaduri's letter, which you know what he's going to say, he had Gabriel showing up, talking to him, an old man to old man. And so he, I bid you adieu. <laughs> so I think, yeah, the entire world is guilty of that. Uh, except our aunt. They don't have to fire a shot. All the other nations have got to do it. That's all the Western nations. Yes. They've got to pay the price. They, they built the system, they're going to fix it. This is where the hate the whore business comes in. This is where the what, that? Hate the whore. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Payback. What's your maiden name? <laughs> or H O R E. <laughs> <laughs> That's one part of the script, babe, where you really had a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Well. <laughs> it's stoned before I've been stripped naked, running away from the temple. All right, so now um, we're going down by trailer, which we built. This, the actual bolts to hold the thing on cost more than the entire frame on the back of the trailer. Well, that was twenty dollars and eight dollars for the tarp. Right? That yes. Oh well actually more than that there, because we've got two low two different times times of bolts. So yeah the bolts and the tarp have been about fifty dollars worth. The frame itself was uh, twenty. Twenty, yeah. <laughs> At the tip. From the Garbage dip. Oh dear. So we have this. Um, you got the phone number and the fax number for Ray uh, AC Laser? I do. No, just contact Baz and uh, he'll sell you a set of plans. Or we'll cut the job for you. Of the four different designs I've put down there, for them to play with. Over unit here. It's given to the earth, like it's called wind. <laughs> <laughs> but don't count. It's called birth. It's called <laughs> it doesn't count, right? It's called the life cycle. That's not over unity, right? Ooh. There's a sun's course in that, and it could go out. <laughs> Some stupid argument. So I come up with all sorts of schemes, get people to design them, beautifully done too. The one I liked the best was the one in the middle of the desert. And um, underneath the Australian desert, of course, is uh, one sixth of continent is water. Right. So the idea was to uh, have circular acres and acres of tin uh, with machines that's made on, on site, so there's no joins in them, and um, they built a um, giant uh, heat chamber and a thousand feet high. It draws in the wheels within wheels and the Ezekiel prophecy is fulfilled because you've got to have it on 3168 degrees south latitude in Australia. Or anywhere else you can put on a ship if you like, but it's got to go on that literature. And it generates power for nothing. 24 hours a day. You're either breathing in or breathing out. So you get power constantly. 
Then you can pump the water up into the highlands and let it flow down into Ayers Rock, that area, and, and re-fertilise that, how it used to be in paradise. Right? So now you've got the Olgas and all these places we've been to where we cured people. Erin Durham there is a key example, the, the uh, story there where we miraculously, will you tell the story? You come sit here and tell the story. I can tell it from over here. Hmm? I can tell it from over here. Oh, well, you can come down and sit and I can see it. I'll move over. I remember you're wearing my earrings. <laughs> Speak it to the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I get too close to your ear. Whatever oh you do. Oh my goodness, this happened yesterday. <laughs> It'll suck it out the back of your head, right? <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, wait, what are we doing? Oh, dear. All right, this is funny. Yesterday, I, uh, I was surrounded by magnets. These are very, very powerful magnets. Can you separate two just, and we'll just do a demo on how powerful they are? And uh, I had them all around the collar of my neck on the outside and the inside. So you've got two pairs holding onto each other through the fabric. Had them in my hair, had them everywhere. <laughs> and when I went into, um, no, I can't see a thing. Okay, when I went into <laughs> use a, a, a washroom at a gas I station. I fight, you know. I was washing my hands at the sink when the, the magnets that were on the two points of the collar <laughs> got attracted to each other and they were clunk, digging the light this around my neck. <laughs> and now, okay, let's, uh, what are we going to do to I see? I don't know, you're going to do something. What, we're going to demonstrate the power of these magnets. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how? This is going to hurt too. Oh, no, that's repelling. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no, it's really, really. Can you see it pulling in yeah. the. Okay, shall I let it go? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay, so what, what, am I, what story am I telling? I don't know, it was good then. I can't remember. You took me away what from was the, the washing up. What was the story? Do you remember the story I was about to tell? Oh, Urudumu. Urudumu, yes. All right. Where do I begin <laughs> to tell the story of our trip throughout the springs? <laughs> our springs, 2009 Is it not July. so that um, Adam has tagged every conceivable spot in Alice Springs with his tag? Um, Port Augusta, probably more than Alice Springs. Oh, he told me in Alice Springs. Everywhere. Okay, well, Port Augusta and Alice Springs. He left a trail. <laughs> <coughs> I tagged the uh, toilet block at the Oaks football field, Oakdale football field. <laughs> <laughs> we have that somewhere. What do you mean? We have all the photographs. Of that one? Of the, of oh. the toilet block where I mm. wrote the Christers back? Mm. Oh, okay. Why? Did I take a photograph of it? You weren't with me. Well, you can memorize what it was like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, this draw is draw one up. This is this is paint This on. is when you this is when you're playing the the the, the trick on me. What was that? And I had to meet you two weeks later. And in the meantime, I'd already been kicked out of home. The two of us were homeless right. in the and and you're telling me that we weren't going to. I had to meet you there two weeks later, and so I had nowhere to go <laughs> <laughs> for one night. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so that's when we went to the toilet block in the Oakdale, and we both tagged it, but I, I tagged as well. So, getting back to Urudumu, we're in the campsite at Alice Springs, and we'd already, what, are we, what had we already done? Okay, so we're in the campsite at Alice Springs, planning to go to Urudumu because we had heard that the first death due to the swine flu was at Urudumu. So we were taking the recipe for the cure, which of course is colloidal silver, 
to the Aborigines throughout the Northern Territory. In little bottles? In small bottles and also we had the drums. Remember that we took the drums with us to mm -hmm. establish centres of healing in different communities. We set up three of them. Yeah, yep. came back with one drum. So yeah, we set up three of them on our way. And I'm doing the washing up and started talking, chatting with a lady who was telling me a few things and then I started to tell her a few things and she started to realise that I was telling her things that her husband was interested in. Oh no, this is, no, that's the story of Stuart. No, backing up, Urudumu. Um, yeah, a guy just chatting with me, telling me about his stay, stopover in Urudumu. He had a flat tyre and the woman who had been in Urudumu for 30 years and ran the local grocery store slash service station there. Um, yeah, she was the only white woman in town, been there 30 years. I think her name was Glenda or Brenda, Glenda or Brenda, something like that. And he told me to tell her because we were going there. Thank you very much for her help. Uh, his name was something like Tom or Bill or, you know, some very ordinary name. <laughs> that a zillion people have. Anyway, so that was the scoop. The woman, 30 years there. We go to Uruduma, drove the, what was it, 260 270. Yeah, 270 miles north, yeah. north uh, yeah. west away, yeah. of Alice Springs. You still got on the GPS. We arrived there to the only grocery store and slash service station in town. And instead of finding a white woman by the name of Brenda, Glenda, or whatever her name was, that had been there for 30 years, there was a, a white man with a gut. Come, all of you Asio agents out there, your guts give you away. <laughs> the crew cut, pale white skin. Oh, and he'd been there for the last 18 months. He'd come all the way from Perth or somewhere to take up his little position. So we were telling Pretty him... Pretty wife in the distance. Mm. So we were telling him of uh, colloidal silver and how but He it, said no one had died in that town. He said no one had died and nobody was sick. However, he was really eager to take the colloidal silver off us for himself. And Adam walked in. He'd... Um, he'd not been well, actually, in, on, on the drive. He'd coming down with a cold, sore throat, that kind of thing. So he sculled one bottle of the 100 mil of the colloidal silver, and it was a concentrate. And within two minutes, he's recovered. Sore throat left him and he's walked in and he just took over and said to the guy, listen, I can testify to the power in this stuff. This is what I was feeling all the way up here until I just walked in now and I'm fine. So the white dude Asio plant prevented the town because there was nobody sick there anyway nobody had died and he kept the uh, water for himself so that's the extent that they go to to prevent us we were denied entry into the reservation where everybody every man and his dog gets a permit to go in, we were denied entry. <laughs> Remember that? Mm. <laughs> go back the next day to find out our application has been denied. We were not allowed to go in and talk to anybody on the reservations. So with that, we didn't bother. We just drove straight to the next settlement that we came across. And of course, there were about, what, 20 of them sitting around, drinking and having nothing to do. So we walked straight up to them and began telling them about the cure for the swine flu that was a uh, hoax, the vaccine, to avoid the vaccines and this is how you cure yourself of anything. Setting up community wells of colloidal silver where anybody with a cup can come and dip. Springs of living water. It's the Jesus thing to do. So that was one part of our little... So those little bottles I'd fill up again and drink it again. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, we gave them... Um, a couple of cases, there were, what, 24 or 48? Mm, 48. 48, 48 bottles in each case, so we left a couple of those for them. And uh, then we set up 
the well over at the old woman's house for her community. She told us all about the tragedy of Marilinga mm. in the uh, days of testing atomic weapons. So it was an eventful trip, as they usually are. And between tagging trains, toilet blocks and everything else that Adam did, I tagged a train too in Port Augusta. <laughs> Still there, too. <laughs> and, uh, not be able to see it on Google. <laughs> yeah, probably. And then the police, we, we were stopped, parked in a driveway. Adam's cocked out in the back seat with Charlie because he knows that we're going to be hours inside talking to a group of Aborigines who had, we spoke to them one day and, and by the time we got there the next, they already had uh, been learning from the YouTube because they had blackberries and they were able to get straight onto the net and check us out as soon as we told them anything. So they were pretty well amazed and that was Rebecca and family. And then the police arrived, wanting to know why the, the dude was asleep in the back seat of the car. So I come to the door and start explaining what does the sign mean. <sighs> so the first thing they say to me as I begin to launch is just give us the short version, which is a dead giveaway. <laughs> They know exactly who we are. So they got the long version, just because they asked for the short. <laughs> but they're taking notes. <laughs> and then, of course, we left there and... We did go to the police station we went and charge to the, police the Governor General station. with murder. That's right. The Governor General, the Queen, everybody. Uh, that was Port Augusta. And they didn't know what to do with this. Told us we should go to the AFP. Said it was a and civil matter. Oh, well, told us that we should uh, go to the AFP in Adelaide and gave us the address. <laughs> oh. And then, of course, we arrived back in Alice Springs to meet Tracy and her husband, who we arrive at dusk and now we have to set up tent sites. And this woman came, comes racing over saying, look, I ha it's late. I know you're probably tired, but I have banana cake and a cup of tea happening. Would you care to come and join us? And of course, we go, hello. <laughs> Yahweh loves banana cake. <laughs> and we got chatting, and Adam had been a little concerned about leaving behind his supply of, of um, cannabis <laughs> in uh, Port Augusta. No, because now we're down in Adelaide, oh, so right. Port Augusta. Yeah. And of course, it turns out Tracy's man had everything he needed and more. He had a tent full of it. <laughs> a tent full of it, yes. I kept on saying to him, don't worry about it, I'll get it as soon as we get there. Don't worry about it. Don't no, worry. I had a dope sale lined up. I said, don't worry about it. Yeah, you know. So as soon as we drive in, we haven't got a foot out the car. But, uh, and the guy got a tent full of dope. <laughs> Banana cake 20 tea. 20 feet away. And uh, weed. weed. <laughs> oh, dear. That was that night that, that, that uh, I got a little... That's when the... You do realise they were angels. Oh, yeah. Tracy. Oh. Tracy. Tracy, and what was his name? What was his name? Oh, I can't remember. We got, oh, it. We got it on the film. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's... <gasps> you, take <laughs> the... <laughs> you take over, babe. I'm going back to wash the dishes. Right. Dry the dishes, turn the dishes over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the schoolyard, playing jacks, and, and the, but you do all those, you know, wash the dishes, dry the dishes, turn the dishes over. After I said wash the dishes, it brought that back to mind. <laughs> it's okay, I'll get out of here. Well, the kids used to do that. No, no, I did. Oh, I a child, did. a small child. Yeah, but did you make it up? No, I didn't make it up. Everybody knows about that. With knuckles? No, no, it's a, it's a thing that you do with your hands. You like, wash the dishes, dry the dishes. Turn the dishes over, something like that. Yeah, yeah. How cute, huh? Yeah, well, it's really cute. Kindergarten children would know about it, I think, if they still play that thing. In it's it's like London Bridge. London Bridge is falling down, so you form the bridge. Yeah. And then the kids form a line, and they go, London Bridge is falling. So you sing and sing, and then um, when London Bridge falls down, who do you trash off? Yeah. Chop. You know. Yeah. That's what washes. I before. think I have seen it. Down the bridge is falling down, huh. falling down, falling down. Oh, so there we go. <coughs> <coughs> so then we've 
got these stories when we leave a trail of cured bodies yes. in our wake. The trail of restored, happy, smiling, grateful Fiji. bodies. Oh, yes. We cured a chop. Ah. Oh. Thanks to Frank Benny Marama, we're out of there, right? But what about Flora with her rash? Oh, that disease. Oh, that would have killed this, this, What happens, this rash starts off Poison. on the side, and then if it gets right the way around with these terrible, terrible, boily looking things, when they meet, that's when you die. That's dead, yeah. So she, she'd had it for about four days, she had about three days to go. Right, seven days at death. Oh my god, it's so painful for them because it's all toxic poison. And um, anyway, she started to recover as soon as we put her on the wrist pulsar, colloidal silver, ozone, did our normal routine, and then uh, finished it off with the calcium hypochloride to take home. But it was all done and dusted in her first trip. Mm. Driving up from Canberra with this big Dutch girlfriend at it, time. And a uh, cop pulled up. I'm driving one of the first uh, station wagons on, uh, running on gas. So he kind of breathalyzed me. So he walks up, he says, uh, I want you to blow in the bag. <laughs> So I said to him, I don't know her that well. <laughs> and he staggered off, slumping on the front of the car, he's laughing. In the distance, cops are coming, pulling their guns, right? I think I fucking shot him. So he stands up, he's laughing, he says, okay. He's just laughing his guts out, right? <laughs> oh, dear me. So that cop will remember me, right? <laughs> He'll have the date he was there on duty. Well, I guarantee you, you put the star above it, it be something about laughing at you. Yeah. So I'll make it happen, right? <laughs> That's how I operate. Oh dear. It's a matter of controlling the mind. Where, where you, the new idea takes you, you, you got, you're gone, right? You can't come back. New idea, new path. And you're out of here. So why the hell would you go back to Ben Warren? It was five minutes ago. So that's the whole philosophy of God, you see. <laughs> the ultimate intelligence is laughter, right? You can't it is, it. totally. <laughs> <laughs> so they're, they're looking forward to our dreaded pilgrimage to go and get our stuff. Huh? Oh, yeah. And maybe pick up a dog. A dog? Your dog. Charlie. Yeah. Just ask the owners. You can bark back at the other fucking ring roll. It's going to poison me. What sort of dog is Charlie? Oh, Lovely. She's the best dog. She came with us, didn't she? Yeah, she was on a trip to us for this too. With her throughout the Northern Territory. Yeah. She was. She was really good too, wasn't she? She didn't yeah. give us a moment's trouble. She's a. She's Adam's dog. We even took her into the area of uh, Uluru and let her out for a run where dogs are forbidden. Oh yeah, you're not supposed to. You can't have dogs go in there. So we did. <laughs> oh, dear. We hid her. Um, so on the way out of Uluru with a dog, we get a Jew on the gate. He said, I'm sorry about that, you can't have a dog in here. I said, well, I've already been in there, I'm going out. <laughs> 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 
Oh, dear. Well, <laughs> like, who gives a fuck when you drop it out, right? That Charlie's uh, little, she's cross Jack Russell and wire-haired Fox Terry. Oh, okay. Cute, Cute but intelligent. Mm. She is not a stupid, yappy little runner. I think she owes that piece. Actually, we've had a lot of dogs. Charlie has to be the most intelligent. Absolutely. Now, she's with my mother. Um, Have you got a message for your mother? <laughs> I love you, Mum. That's my message. <laughs> There's a smiley moustache. <laughs> So the earring works, right? How do you feel at the moment? Well, I, I took it off because of the pressure. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I still hasn't been as intense today. How about your being Yeah, it's not as intense like this afternoon. Probably. I reckon just after lunchtime. Mm. It was really quiet, so. Mm. So the idea is they're blocking the um, the messages coming from space, you see. The right frequency and so forth. They have to block that frequency by all this bullshit they've got to live with. Mm. Smart meters. All of, all of Victoria now is going to be smart meters. Mm. That's precisely what they want. It's all, it's all Tesla stuff. Control the mind by sending the message into your mind. But the spark of of life suddenly ignites when you're dead. But you go through another death experience, it doesn't matter. Suddenly you're there, right? You don't experience the next death. Because you're now aware of how it does. It's just a mind shift slow. Mm. Oh, oh, excuse me. And that's the runaway train of thought I thought as a baby. Inside my mother's womb, whatever she was. But it's female spirit, as far as I can see, and I built my own mother. So the Mormons actually did the same thing, they had the God Maker. Well, they had the fucking chance and blew it. Now they got Romney, they got some. Oh. What a devil that man is. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Disgusting. Eyes are too close together. What's that? It's, uh, handsome man, eyes are too close together. Mm. And they're black. Yeah, well, that's what he's relied on all of his life. He come from the senior heater country. Mm. What's your name, mate? What's your name? I say, what's your name, mate? <laughs> from the. Milton. Milton? Yes, Milton. Is, is that what Mitt is? is Milton. Um, what do they call him Mitt then? Well, for short, for Milton. Milton, Milton oh, William. Not cute. Milton William or William Milton, one of the two. Both, both of those are his. Yeah. So What's the Spanish father, connection? He was uh, his father. Was in Spanish mafia. So he was born in Mexico. Yeah. Mm. Been in Mexico. To American parents. Chihuahua. It's called Chihuahua. I've been to Chihuahua. You've been to Chihuahua? I see. Yeah. Home of the devil. He would have been a little boy. Mm, 47. 40, 47. 1947. So it's not too much. 20 years. 21 years behind that. 1947. 47. 47, yeah. Oh, is that all? Almost your age. So anyhow, we head them off at the pass because we know what they're up to and therefore no pilot in his right mind will let the thing go on our pilot and have it wired the way it is. They'll ground them until they fix it. Hmm? 
you don't want to be taken over by any other entity. Mm. That's Air Force included, because that's the ones you don't fucking trust. Mm. It's like disarming your bloody handguns and things like that. Take them off you. I don't know. Mm. You teach everybody how to use them, what they're for. They you save your life. Switching. Mm. Everybody's armed, but responsible and knows how to use them. Archie Bunker, he says, uh, solve the problem of hijacking, give everybody a gun when they get on the plane. So if anyone pulls a gun, everyone shoots him. <laughs> that was his solution to the hijack problem. But it brought to the mind of the people of hijacking, because they're talking about a national TV. That was an ad campaign so they could start their own little nest egg right, of inventing typical yank, obnoxious bullshit, the home run system. So that a pilot can be flying his plane at any moment, it can be taken over by a satellite and landed anywhere or flown into a tall building. Mm. Yeah. And uh, Hillary Clinton. Lovely lady. Patent. Hmm? She had the patent on one part of the. Uh, one type remote. of um, system for tracking aircraft, wasn't it? Tracking or. or the oh, no, for overtaking, overtaking the control the system. It hijacking it. Yeah. So the government could hijack your plane any type to, and whoever's got whoever has hijacked the actual system, be it Israel who built it, can then cause all these jets, thousands in one day, to crash into the Well that's what they've done with that jet in Russia a few months ago. It was one of these planes fitted with the, the system. That's what they did. It was a test run. I don't know, but you know, they've been. It was a related. Russian plane? It was a Russian plane. Surely not. Mm -hmm. Russians fly by the seat of their pants. Well, this plane that. Uh, Joel. They're ex, they're ex fighter Russia. pilots. Joel. They don't have computer guided systems. It was one of those planes that have been fitted with the, the system that rolled in on the top of the deer. Yeah, which is the, the Hillary. That's right. Was it a Russian plane or was it in Russia? Was it a foreign plane? No, that was a Russian plane. It was touring around. It was right. going to be more efficient and cheaper. Right. Um, then got flown into the side of the mountain. So it was a Full of passengers. Russian. Yeah, it was a Russian Sukhoi or something. Yeah, the Sukhoi. Yeah, but that was full of passengers. And, and yeah, it was filled with passengers. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there was weird goings on on board. There was a dude dressed up as um, like the side and you know, cursing everyone and all the weird stuff going on on board. Hey? He said there was a lot of weird stuff going on. Apparently, there was a guy dressed up as Poseidon and all cursing. And Poseidon? Poseidon, yeah. The god Poseidon. All right. Yeah, so. Well, What's Poseidon? Poseidon is a god, isn't it? Yeah, god of the sea or the something. The sea, you know, Poseidon. Oh, the Poseidon adventure. Yeah, yeah. Poseidon adventure. Gene Hackman was in. They yeah. picked him with like a trident and a crown. Yeah. Well, see how it all fits together. Gene Hackman is boat upside down. They get their way out, you know. They're all Jews, of course. Mm. Anyway. Lead them up through the darkness That's and they get out through the bottom because someone digs them out. Mm. Right? It's all a, it's all a, uh, a brainwash. Right? Mm. These are brilliant actors. It's one of my favourite actors. Mm. Mm. So you don't want your jet to be taken over by some Israeli lunatic in Tel Aviv and have your kids playing funny games, and they can be now flying your aircraft. With you in it, and your son's at home playing a game. He's locked in, and they've given him your coordinates on the game that he's going to crash into a mountain. Yeah. And they'll let you know it before they do it. Yeah. Or you can do it my way. Feel like singing. 
So there it is in a nutshell. We've got them every which way to loose. The nettle. Oh yeah. So we have our army chaps in America who are now living up to the legends that they grew up on about the Civil War. Mm. This lovely lady who is uh, an expert at what she does. An amazing woman, she is. General um, Anne E. Dunwoody. Anne E. Dunwoody. Oh, <laughs> it just rings, doesn't it? It does. So beautiful. Stand in her presence would be quite an honour, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. One of my dreams. Now, you've got to get a magnet off. If you're going to use it for something, you've got to be able to get it off there. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I've got to sneak up on it. I got two off at a time. So you want one over your heart. There you go. Like you're having indigestion or something like that. Come on, don't you? These are designed for that motor that uh, we're going to uh, pick up. It's uh, totally uh, transparent. Um, if you want the plans, uh, just ask for them at um, AC Laser. Talk to that for me. One of the gang there, Karen, and they'll uh, get you a set. Absolutely free. These you can pick up in any grocery store. There's trillions of them on the market. And uh, they try to stop me giving you perpetual motion. I gave it to you in 1235, actually. Nicholas, what's his name, darling? Hmm. Trying to think of his name. Two more. I'll have to go back and look for it back. Pon, uh, Pon, H-O-N, Pon, uh... You've just made him very famous. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then, that's it for the today. Hasta la vista, baby. You got anything to say, John? Well, I'm sort of running out of ideas here. <laughs> Um, uh, just, just learning stuff about the food supply and stuff, be aware of what you're eating, be aware of moulds and fungus and everything, that's quite an important issue at the moment. Yes, yeah, and cancer is a fungus. Cancer is a fungus, that's right. Can't get any easier than that. Can be cured, they try and make it all complicated with mumbo jumbo, but simple. Stop eating sugars, white flour. Yeah, there's the mycoplasma, right? Mycoplasma, mycotoxins. Aflatoxins. Aflatoxins. Aspergillus. Yeah. It's all fun. Everything. Mm. I've slipped it in everything. Well, I mean, they're very clever, aren't they? 
They've used the kids with their imagination to do these things. So, um, there was no alternative but to uh, round every Jew up and do a sifting mm. and uh, sort out the good ones and bad ones. This is the, if you like, let them grow evil and good together. The tars, ribbing yeah, on the tars. So what's the date today? 14th? Well, there you go. 14th, yeah. Yep. So there's your 666 minutes of Rome. Yes. It's also the electing of the most evil bastard on the planet, Pope John Paul II. Mm -hmm. He covered up the murder of John Paul I, the righteous man. So it's just going to expose it all, mm -hmm. being a satanic cult. So it all goes back to Vatican. And that's why all the nations hate the whore for what they've done to you. If they've stealing, stolen your life, that ain't something that they're uh, going to get away with. So no, there's not much hope for them when people realise. No. So do we get a thumbs down for everybody? Yeah. You're going to give them a trial? Why was the time? Well, if we give them a trial, at least they got some that might be able to tell us something we haven't thought of. Oh, I suppose we'll have all eternity, so... Oh. So I can be their um, defendant. Mm. Like a, any lawyer. I mean, I don't give a fuck whether they will or not. <laughs> I'll just be their defendant. Mm. I'm done for the money. If I'm the one that put them in this ship that tried in the first place, I must be the same guy that should be able to get them out of it. There is a thing called repentance. If you can get the worst evil bastard to repent, you've got a victory, haven't you? A Prince Charles, for example. Mm. Then make it Charlie first. There you go. Give him to, uh, say, November the 14th. He misses out by 10 hours. Because I'm that person. And I'll say, that's that one beheading. I actually said that on one of one beheading. When I first started doing this in Canada when they were trying to see if I was nuts on him. Mm. I sucked them in beautifully. And Played them like puppets. Oh, yeah, that's another story. So, uh, we're at this point now where it's done. There's, no, there's nothing can change what you and I have accomplished in the four years of been together. Nothing can change. That. That's all you're doing. That's the Asherah rising out of the volcano beside the rock, which they've defaced. Doesn't need this. Mm -hmm. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> but finally I got you in because I thought you were a hand puppet. <laughs> <laughs> That'd make an interesting upload, wouldn't it? <laughs> you know, from at the end of the corridor walking through getting louder and louder and louder as it emerges. Hello! <laughs> 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 I get the other end of the house and do it. It's a nice echo happening. It's emerging from the Tell you what, that dog barked under the cat the other day. Oh, I thought it was in the tent. <laughs> Just about was. Mm. <laughs> 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 nice. <laughs> <laughs> 
I had to check.